Hello everyone, this is Vishan Shah from V Interactive and I'm here with another exciting and new tutorial about the Autodesk 3D Studio Max 2021.2 updates. So it's a bonus tutorial. Basically, I just found that there are some new cool features inside the 3D Studio Max 2021.2 version. So let's have a look at them. The first exciting uh, feature uh, the few the, the new update which i really like is the smart uh, uh sorry smart you can say extrude so how we can do the smart extrude here let's see first let me go to my, uh, let me go to my perspective viewport and then extend it take my box and let me zoom it out i'll make a box over here okay now i will turn on my uh segments more a wireframe mode edge faces mode okay with f4 on my keyboard and then i will increase some of these so i can have some faces now what i need to do is that i'll press uh, q for the selection mode i'll right click over here convert to editable body now i can take my face uh, here it's polygon choose any polygon here here or this one or this one any one of these Okay, maybe the top one. Now, how the smart extrude works. It works with the shift key, okay, with movement or with scaling. If I press shift key and then I start scaling this up, so what will happen? It will use the inset command. So I don't have to go dig, big, uh, dig, dig inside over here to go to inset and do that. Simple with the shift key, I can do that. I can press shift key, increase it. Now, as soon as I will increase it, what it will happen? It will not overlap with these uh, polygons. 3D Studio Max will automatically remove those vertices which were here. And as you can see now, okay, they have re, uh, it has been readjusted and restitched, which is really good. It restitches smartly, and it uh, you can say. Uh, adjust everything automatically now what i can do is that i will take my moving tool now i can press shift and i can extrude downward okay and you can see how nicely i have this work done over here let me choose this square mark tool okay and not only this it it makes my work so you know a faster like i can take my scale tool press shift okay i can and set uh, like inset it now or uh, inverts now w for the movement and press shift and move it up okay and then so many uh, select things i can do or for example if i were to uh, undo this okay so i can press shift move a little bit here then shift move a little bit just like this okay and i have more of these and then you know this one i can press shift move it out this one press shift move it in this one press shift move it out and so much of this uh, i can do with it okay shift move this one out shift move this one out so these kind of stuff i can do clearly like too much like you know it's uh amazing okay like i can now take uh, my uh what you call this edges here Okay, and then I can move them down so I can have this kind of effect. Okay, let me take both of them at the same time with the control E and then I can move them down. Oh, what is happening here? Okay, yeah. Okay, so just like that. Let me select the correct one now. See? So, like a zombie moving. So, this is how, like, it's a, I think it's a, it's a very great uh, way of doing this whole thing. It makes your life much more easier. If I take shift key, I can make this smaller. I can, uh, with the scale, then W for the movement, and I can press shift key, move it down, up, or no matter what you can do. Right now, I'm in the world mode. I can go in the local mode also. Okay. So I can do something like this okay wow I, I i really love this smart uh the chamfer thing it's a game changer 
okay look at this like take this okay r for scale shift look at this look at this okay then now just go here okay and then i can make this one smaller this one smaller separately this one smaller separately this one smaller separately control key take this one it's very fast you can do this stuff like this okay so this is the smart extrude which i really love in this uh, new update of 2021.2 now other thing i really liked over here is the enhanced chamfer so suppose if i will take these okay uh and let's remove this here you can see that you can see this now i will grow uh, these set, uh, these settings so they will go just like this and I can go inside my modify list and I can go to my chamfer here and what the chamfer can do here is that if I will increase the amount the result now is much more better see great way of doing some changes here okay and then I can increase the segment or keep it low instead of six i can uh, make it by weight or by crease weight or by legacy the old style okay but i'll keep it six and then instead of uniform i can make it radial it will look more i like radial usually uh i usually use the radial style okay so sorry about my uh navigation errors because i use maya a lot so Oh, I for, sometimes forget that I'm using Max, so I would like, uh, sorry, Max. Okay, so this chamfer thing, you can see that it's, it's going good. One more thing I just want to show you, the one experiment with that, uh, like, uh, you can do with this is that, let me make a plane, okay? Uh, cool looking plane over here. And move it here. Let me increase uh, a bit of this, okay? Now what I can do is that convert to polygon. Okay, and take polygon. And now what I can do is that I can select this. Okay. With the shift key to move this up. I have to say now look at this. I will take the three here. Now instead of using the fixed uh, axis, I will use these boxes so I can go, you know, uh, back and forth staying on the surface just see and while I'm doing this 3d studio max is creating a stitch on the ground okay it's not like they are like separate they are, it is becoming the part of this it's stitching this part with the uh, with the surface below okay it's readjusting this oh this one went up because I used the wrong one So amazing, right? Now look at this. If I will take this all, let's do one experiment just to show you what kind of great results you will get. Okay, I will grow this. Again, I can go in the chamfer. Okay. And I can increase the amount of the chamfer. And look at the on the ground. See, it's just being stitched to the ground. Just see the result. Instead of uniform, I will choose radius. That will be much more better. Segments I will increase so I don't have those uh, artifacts. Okay. Now let's see how cool it looks. Okay. Let me turn off my edge edges here. Oops. Again, I'm not on Ma Ma Maya. Why? I'm using that okay so this is how you know you can do so much of things now to in order to remove these kind of artifacts so what you can do we have a better version of let me select this we have a version of weight normal so if i will choose weight normal just see as soon as i selected it without you can see ugly weights if i will click it like your uh, ugly uh, you know all those, those uh, faces now just see how Look at over here and look at the weight normal. So it's very enhanced. 
if you can do this like settings you can in, uh, you can use the smooth groups so you can see the result now how it is uh, like grouping you can increase the smoothing if you want or you know you can display the normal just to see where things are getting okay uh, snap to the largest face you can also do this okay but i don't want to do uh, do that i have to just or keep it as it is okay just see how you know you can get a good results with this and with more of like little bit settings here so you can get rid of all these artifacts here this will look uh, this will look good when you are doing boolean okay for example let me delete this one here okay if i have a box here we turn on my edges here let me okay and let me make some cylinders here okay sorry about if uh, like i if i get to uh, you know uh, like clumsy with the viewport because i'm i usually work in maya so i'm used to the uh, maya uh, your like a viewport settings i keep on pressing the uh, alt while moving so one copy okay now what i can do is i can go here and then compound objects i can do the boolean okay and try to boolean this oops i'll change the track okay and that's what I did when doing. Okay, where is the boolean here now? Where did the boolean go? Okay, yeah, here it is. Sorry about that. So I'll click add operands and then I will, oops, again I will select subtract. Okay, here and add again this one. Okay, now just see if I go here in the compound of the sorry in the modifier list and I will see shampoo over here. Just check the result and after applying the weight normal, then you can see the result. Okay. So if I will increase the amount here, okay, just see what's happening with these uh, normals here. Let me change this to uniform to radial. Okay, maybe this one by weight or maybe three or keep it there okay segments i will add a little bit here now if i'll go back to my modifier list and choose the weighted normal okay and choose to the largest shape okay smoothing group i have a little bit change over here i think i have over increased this one with much more segments okay so little bit change here and there and you will get a good result over here okay let me check which suits better i think i really like the radial one over here and let's check this but yeah i i like the like result as as it was before okay like as uh, what was before and now what uh it has done some places are still there but yeah it's like to wait normal without and with you can see how it is doing that okay in this case not working that good but a few of the other cases it, it, it usually show a, 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 like a much different okay so yeah pretty much this is for the chamfer and the weight normals uh, it also depends like how you're booleaning it like i didn't i i just took the cylinder with like very ugly cylinder and i did that what if if i undo this whole thing and go back to the correct version of the cylinders can i do that uh, let me do this keep this one let me go over here cylinder cap segment segment is more yeah now let's try because the cylinder was pretty much uh you know like it was lacking let me go with the other cylinder this one do the same thing because cylinders that i used were pretty much uh 
like low polygon so it was not matching with the with my high polygon uh, operand and the low polygon operand and now i can easily apply it uh, chamfer over here just to see the result okay amount okay still there is that but yeah not that bad okay and then where's the radius piece of radius here a bit a bit bias you can change the bias to less or more okay then you can apply the weighted norm now you can see it's getting a little better okay so you can keep the smoothing now you can see that the river okay now it's much more better okay so this is how you can do that and you can go back here back and forth change some settings but yeah it it makes like this is the worst condition that will like worst example which like i showed you but if you have a good example here it will the result will be much more better than what uh, what uh, i have here okay so it's, it's really good way of doing this stuff uh with this help of weight normal and these these things like these are like basically very complex but you know it, it's it's a time saver basically okay now this is all about the uh, like polygon itself like you have uh um like smart uh, like smart extrude and you have the chamfer and then you have those that uh like a, a weight normal but what if we have to do selection now the selection has become you know like quite like other like uh, in maya you have those options in blender so here you have that too like suppose i have selected this face and i want to select this row over here so what i can do i can uh click here and double click on this one the one that's next to it and then the whole row will be selected or if i will click here and i double click on this space and this row will select it okay and then you know i can do the smart extrude and those things so same thing I can do with the edge. Okay, I can select this edge. I can press Control and double click on this edge. So you can see uh, this. Oops. Okay, so I think you have to select this one, then this, and then this one, and you can see that the row of the like a ring of edges are selected. If you double click on a single one of it, so obviously without Control, uh, you can you can select it. But if you want to select in this. Uh, in, in a row okay and other cool thing uh in selecting parts is like uh you can press shift on you like you can like select over here press shift oops and i click over here with the shift and then you can move around okay anywhere and start pressing and creating a pattern which is a really good way of selecting items this is one more other cool things i have seen so far right wow 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 okay and imagine if i will uh do the you know that one smart screw thing sort of thing here okay and then how cool is oh it's uh local so let me do one thing instead of local let me make it world now i will try Okay. okay, the result will be a little bit different. Let me make it local back. Oof. Look at this Death Star. Okay, so this is how you can, you know, uh, do different kind of bugs experiments with it. And yeah, it's, it's, it's good how to select items and, and stuff like that. Okay. So this is about like selection this was this is something uh, new uh, with the selection okay they have uh, shifted from shift to control when you want to double click and they you know these kind of thing and then they have you have shift uh, click and then uh, move your mouse around so you can select the pattern like what I did right now uh, let me go out of this let me read this one other thing I found over here is the spline uh, adjustment like suppose if I will take this uh, go to this uh, shapes 
take my line over here okay so i'm this line and i'm making this uh kind of weird looking line here okay now uh when i'm done what i can do is that suppose i can go to my line over here okay it's already spline but if you're using rectangle you have to right click you have to convert to spline then you have to come over here select uh any of these vertices if you want to fill it or chamfer them i uh, i hope you know about the fillet and chamfer if you don't know you can go to all my previous lessons and you will find over there okay so i have fill it over here so i can you know fillet it and or i can chamfer it okay basically let me undo this okay so i can chamfer it now what you can do is that without going inside i can simply go to my modify list here and there is an option couple of options related to spline spline overlap morph mirror is really good it's like a symmetry for the spline then here you have spline chamfer if i will select spline, spline chamfer and start chamfering it it will chamfer the whole thing okay and if i want i can change the depth of it like this okay and what i can do is that i can uh use bias okay to move this around let me think bias is too high here let me make this simple okay just more like a chamfer now just see if i will in increase the bias so you can see it is shifting those chamfer as the angles are shifting now with the bias so you can do some uh, a lot of things you can do limit effect if you don't want to affect the whole thing now one thing is that let me undo the whole stuff whatever i did the crazy stuff here okay let me make this all zero or this one be one okay suppose if i will change now so the whole thing changes right and if i don't want the whole thing to change okay let me okay so the whole thing changes if i change this over here let me what i'm doing yeah okay so i don't want the whole thing to change what if i only want few of them so what i can do simply i can go to the line here vertex to select this one select these two go back to spine chamfer and if i will now change it so those only the one which i selected are now changing so this is one other way to do that okay so pretty much cool so this has uh, this has been a very good uh, you can say update there are a lot of things okay uh, in textures especially uh, like osl you have uh, like very much procedurals i will show you just uh, one or two over here so you can check like if I'll, if I'll go to the material editor over here so in the osl you can see that i have now so many things i have this uh, uh rivets okay i have uh, this uh, like simple tiles okay let's check this simple tile okay so let me make a arnold surface shader okay and then i can take the this one the base color and let me apply it over here assign material okay now you can see that i have this is quite very procedural if i go to the style here i have a lot of different settings here okay so i can scale it up much more you know now i'm not sure if this exists already and i just came to know about it it would be funny if it, it was like that but i i was just playing with it and i found it maybe it was there already but i just i'm not sure let me know about it in the com comments if it if, if it is new or it already existed i can make it like checker tiles i can make it english bond tiles i can change the color of the tiles there's so many things i can do over here and there are a couple of them okay like suppose what i can do here is that i can go here i can i have digits here 
okay and i can make one uh these the digits here so one of them will be a digit like this you can see that numbers you can increase the number decrease the number maybe you can write zero 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 so many things can be done here okay so different kind of experiment we can do with it okay oops why it 54 that's five okay. now you can see that what i can do here interesting stuff right so that's why it's not animated but looks good right let me delete this and then you know you can add threads i don't know if the threads is, was there already or it's just they just added okay so yeah maybe it was there already but just i don't know how it would work but yeah uh quite good i really like these two or 2022 updates everyone and uh i'm glad that you are finished with the whole 3d studio max course and you also got to know these new updates so guys uh, take care and please don't forget to watch my live videos and the most exciting thing is coming up is the substance painter full course full course it's our, it's like the uh, the lessons of the course is hours long and they're, they're really great uh, it's, a, it's a really great course really interesting course i really enjoyed making that course so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, as you are doing and like my videos if you like them uh, leave if they, uh, leave questions if you have any questions in the comment section and also please don't forget to click the uh, bell icon and please watch my videos online so it will encourage me to make more and more videos so guys take care and a lot of mm, like thanks to you for your love uh the way you supported me it, well i really enjoyed that and guys take care you are the best